Welcome to Here and There. I'm your host, Whitney Long. On this month's episode, we'll be speaking with Terry Coddington about Conway's new bike park. Plus, Shelby King with Kafka will tell us all about the student market. So stay tuned. Here and There starts now. You've arrived at your destination. Welcome back. Today I'm here with Terry Coddington with the Conway Bikes and Pedestrian Coordinator. And Terry has some exciting news for us about bike trails coming up in Conway. Thank you so much for being with us today. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about how did you get started on bike trails? Uh, so I was a mountain biker and riding around Conway and um, wanted to Obviously, as a mountain biker, you want to have more trails and opportunity and access. Mm -hmm. And so I started advocating for that. One of the things that I started was the Conway Bearcat, which is a junior and senior high school mountain bike team. Um, and so we started that. And then that kind of led to um, being able to build more trails and things like that. Mm -hmm. So well, that's exciting. Yeah. So you with the Bearcats, you guys are you said you're one of the top in the state or the top in the state of Arkansas. We are the largest team in the state of Arkansas. That's incredible. In the, uh, in the NICA, which is the Interscholastic Cycling Association. So. Right here in Conway. How many yeah. kids do you have on your team? We had 62 kids last year. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, and you guys just team. recently got a donation from the Walt family and you're going to mm -hmm. open some new trails or have helped yeah. you develop some new trails here so, in Conway. So um, Pompeii Park, which is off of Prince and Morningside. Mm -hmm. um, if you're driving by, you may have noticed some of the construction going on. Uh, it's still underway, um, probably another 30 days left or so there, but it's going to be a flow trail for everybody in the community to use. Um, and it's kind of a gift from the Walton Family Foundation because of all the work that uh, NICA is doing here in the community. So. That's so exciting. Yeah. So for those of us that are not real educated on mountain biking, tell us how do you get started in mountain biking? Uh, well, so you know, first you got to visit the local bike shop <laughs> and uh, get a bike and it's, uh, there's lessons. I also do coaching and all that, but uh, especially for youth, we have we teach kids we've had kids show up that don't even know how to ride a bike um, all the way up to um, one of the riders on our team uh, went on to win the national championship a few years ago so that's kind of the how wide the the variety is um, but there's local trails and just kind of finding out where they're at and um, building your skill level and your fitness and mm -hmm. being outdoors is the main, the, ba the best part about it is just being outdoors. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So the flow trail, how will that work for beginners and advanced riders? So the way it's designed is that pretty much anybody can use it from a four year old on a strider bike all the way up to uh, a 50 year old me on my bike. <laughs> Um, it's going to have some skills and challenges and turns and, and features, um, but everybody's going to be able to, to use it in their own way. Um, and it's uh, about an eight-tenth of a mile loop, okay. so you can do laps on it or, or one lap or <laughs> depends on, you know, everybody. So Yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah. And is it still under construction currently? It is. Uh, the weather's kind of holding us back, so uh, we're hoping it'll be done in about 30 days if it'll ever just stop raining. Okay, so, so sometime this summer. Sometime, yeah, early summer. That's great. And how will people find out when it's open? We're going to make an announcement on the uh, Conway website and also the Park and Recs. Okay. Um, right now, you'll notice that there's trails closed signs to try and keep people from riding it because if any damage is done, we have to repair it before we can move on with the construction process. Um, and so we'll have like a grand opening and, and announce that and get it out to the community. So that's great. Yeah. So exciting. Well, is Very there anything exciting. else that we need to know about uh, getting started? <laughs> stay tuned for more projects. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to keep, I'm going to, you know, my role with the city is to create more opportunity and access, um, for both mountain biking and road cycling. Um, so lots of stuff, uh, coming down the pike. So. So exciting, yeah. Terry. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeff Brooks at Brooks Fine Jewelry. My wife, Kathy, and I would like to invite everybody down to meet the newest member of our team, 
Eddie Havens. Eddie is a member of the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers and another gemologist from GIA. I'm excited to be here in Conway and I want to thank you for voting Brooks Fine Jewelry the best jewelry store in Faulkner County. We have also moved Sterling Bar Brooks inside Brooks Fine Jewelry under one newly remodeled roof. Brooks Fine Jewelry, your jewelry makers in downtown Conway. Welcome back. Today I'm here with Shelby King with Kafka. Thank you so much for being with Hi, us, Shelby. Thank you for having me. And she's going to tell us more about the student market for this summer. We're excited to have you. Yeah, thank you for having me. So how long have you been with Kafka now? Almost three years. Three years this October. Okay, that's great. And you guys do the student market every summer. Yes. And helping kids K through 12. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about the student market. So our student market, like I said, it's for kids ages K through 12, and it opens every time schools are closed for extended breaks. So spring break, fall break, Christmas break, the student market opens. Summer is obviously our biggest one with it being the biggest break, so it's going to open June 1st, okay. so next Tuesday. That's great. So June 1st. If kids are in need of food for lunch, breakfast, how, how many meals a day can they get? So it's the first visit, it's going to be 14 breakfast, 14 lunch, and 28 snack items. So it's for two weeks, and then they can come every two weeks during the summer until school opens back up. That's wonderful. Yeah. So how do they get signed up to receive food or come pick up the food mm -hmm. if they would like to? We have our outreach building. It's in front of Suite 120, so at our address, 707 Robbins Street. And so right now with COVID, everything is outside, but we do ask that the child be present and then the parent is present as well to sign them up. And we do ask that the child tries to fill out the application themselves to give them some sense of independency and, you know, incorporate them in the process. That's wonderful. What hours can they come during the week to sign up? It's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 8 to 11.30 and then 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Okay, wonderful. So 14 meals every two weeks. Yep. And um, if they, is there any specific documentation or anything that they would need to bring with them when they are signing we up? We do need to know birth dates and names of everyone in the household. And then the income just has to be certified. So no documentation is required. They just need to know a rough estimate for the monthly income. Okay, great. And is there anywhere they can find out more information on how to um, to get involved if mm -hmm. they are wondering about directions or calling for questions. Yeah, so we have kafkainc.org, so all of that's on there. We also have it on our Facebook page. And then I am over the student market, so my name's Shelby King, and it's 501-205-6835 if they have any questions. That's great. Thank you so Thank much, Shelby. You. Really appreciate Thank the information. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeff Brooks at Brooks Fine Jewelry. My wife, Kathy, and I would like to invite everybody down to meet the newest member of our team, Eddie Havens. Eddie is a member of the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers and another gemologist from GIA. I'm excited to be here in Conway, and I want to thank you for voting Brooks Fine Jewelry the best jewelry store in Faulkner County. We have also moved Sterling Bar Brooks inside Brooks Fine Jewelry under one newly remodeled roof. Brooks Fine Jewelry, your jewelry makers in downtown Conway. UCA's Outreach and Community Engagement Division has a number of events coming up. Here's Penny Hatfield to tell us more. Hi, I'm Penny Hatfield from UCA's Outreach and Community Engagement. Many times people think that the summer is a slow time at universities, but it's not at UCA. We've got lots of things happening. For example, the Arkansas Coding Academy is offering a sequel crash course June 1st through the 24th on Tuesdays and Thursdays via virtual instruction. Databases are central to almost every business, and SQL is the language of databases. You are going to come away from this course with the database and SQL knowledge to store, query, and manipulate data. You will be taught by an instructor who is an expert in the field who will bring real-world relevance to the material. Once you learn SQL, you can work on any relational database. While knowing SQL will undoubtedly make you a better programmer, the skill is also relevant for many entry-level positions, including business analysts, data analysts, and quality assurance professionals. To find out more, visit uca.edu slash A-R-C-O-D-I-N-G, uca.edu slash rcoding. In addition to that, we have lots of camps. It's time for the kids to go to camp. And I'm just going to talk about a few of them. The UCA Super Kids Camp. Super Kids represents the belief that all students are super and thus should have the opportunity to attain a hands-on science-based camp. 
Any student that is entering first, second, or third grade for the 21 through 22 school year may attend. Students from any elementary schools are eligible. Conductor is hosting a STEAM camp. This camp is an opportunity for STEAM education in a fun camp environment. So that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Students who have just finished the second grade or who are going on into the seventh grade, they can come and participate in this camp. It is free to all participants, but there are limited spaces available. So be sure that you register for your students today. The next camp I'm going to be talking about is the Spacey Science and Moving Mathematics Camp. It's a summer camp for fifth through eighth graders that examines interesting elements in math and science that will motivate and involve students in a rich experience and in meaningful content. Summer has a STEM Academy for the 2021 Summer STEM Academy. UCA is offering a one week research immersion experience for students entering ninth through 11th grades. This will consist of three complementary courses, one in microbiology, the second in experimental design and empirical modeling, and the third in data analysis and visualization. Again, this is a free camp and lunch will be served, but you want to hurry and register as soon as you can. In addition to all of those camps, we have sports camps and even more camps available for our students. To find out all of the camps we offer at UCA, visit uca.edu slash camps. If you're a teacher and you're interested in some professional development, visit uca.edu slash acre slash pd. We have several professional development opportunities for you. Lots going on this summer. Thanks so much for having us. If you have any events that you would like to share with us, or if you would like to learn more about anything we discussed on today's program, visit the website on your screen. I am Whitney Long. We'll be seeing you here and there. Hi, I'm Jeff Brooks at Brooks Fine Jewelry. My wife Kathy and I would like to invite everybody down to meet the newest member of our team, Eddie Havens. Eddie is a member of the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers and another gemologist from GIA. I'm excited to be here in Conway and I want to thank you for voting Brooks Fine Jewelry the best jewelry store in Faulkner County. We have also moved Sterling Bar Brooks inside Brooks Fine Jewelry under one newly remodeled roof. Brooks Fine Jewelry, your jewelry makers in downtown Conway.